guys, so I hope that you have successfully changed your drug into black uh, to reserve the negative and positive space with the colorography pen and acrylic. So later on, we'll move on to the next task. We will use the pastel to add some color effect into it. Okay, see you later. So after you have painted uh, your drug into black, so you will see we'll move on to the next step. So this is what we, uh, we have done last time so you will see the pastel color it can give a very poetic effect into your drawing and then we can also use some acrylic to draw more details into your scenery so you will see oh what details I should add so you can refer back to your fruit and the vegetables the inner part the structure of it please observe those lines and shapes formed in the features those shapes and lines, you can borrow it into your new scenery. Just like your draft before, if you still remember the onion, the inner structure, I have borrowed it and then put it in my draft here to use the lines to form a very organic movement here. And then now we'll move on to the next part that you are going to use the pastel and the cotton pack and this drawing. So what you have to do is uh, choose the color that you can make a very contrast effect with your drawing or it can pro produce a, a very a mood to your drawing. So I picked the pink color which I think that it is very suitable for my scenery part. And then before that I have to draw the lines according to my draft so just to simulate the form of the onion. So you can slightly to shade it a little bit. So later what we will blend the color. To build up the effect. So after making the outline, then you can either use your finger or the cotton pick. So what you have to do is use your finger, fingertip to blend the color. Or you can also use the cotton pick if you have it at home to help you. So you can see that when I blend the color, I won't cover the whole area Instead, I'm making a gradual effect from a deeper pink into a lighter one and then afterward it will gradually change back to black. Hi students, this is my work after adding the charcoal, the pastel on the top. So you can see that I have blended color. Just some reminders for you. Uh, some highlights is very important in your whole drawing to make it lively. So you can see there's some area I have uh, put more force on it and then put more a thicker color to make a highlight or even some very thin lines that you can use the angle, very sharp angle of the charcoal and then build on the top. Okay, so those details can enrich your drawing more. And for the next part, I will tell you how you can use acrylic to draw more details. Hello S1 students, I hope that you have a wonderful experience of using the pastel and now we have come to the final touch of the whole drawing. If you are observant enough then you will see I have added very very tiny and thin lines, white lines into my drawing to do some highlights and details. For example the bird on the tail, I have added tree by using the white acrylic and then I have used the very thin brush, okay, which have a very sharp top. It can help me to draw even very narrow and thin lines. So those lines could help to highlight the whole drawing to make it more detailed and lively. And don't forget the animals if you want to add an eye on your animal to make it more dynamic, dynamic, dynamic then you can use 
the acrylic as well. So make good use of every materials to make a wonderful piece. So that's all for this drawing. Bye bye.